Hello and welcome to Media Beat. I'm Chris Ahrens, Editorial Director here at MediaBistro.com and we're here with Margaret Brennan, host of In Business with Margaret Brennan on Bloomberg TV. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it. So you're coming up on two years at uh, Bloomberg. You were uh, one of Andy Lack's first uh, high-profile hires, uh, pulled you away from CNBC. But a lot has changed even in that two years. Tell, us, tell us what's happened uh, since you've been there. It's a completely different network. I mean, my first day, I, I can't believe it's been two years, but then when you look at the amount of change that's happened, I can't believe it. so much change happened in such a little amount of time. The TV show, when I first came, is completely different. Some of that's me. I mean, hours logged in the cockpit makes a huge difference. Secondly, the look and the feel has changed so much. The people have changed so much. I've had a great team now. And you're getting a new boss in Andrew Morse. Yes. Who's uh, coming over from ABC News. Have you talked with him? Have you met him? What, uh, what are you looking forward I've to? I've heard a tremendous amount about him. I haven't met him yet. I'm excited to meet him, um, and hopefully soon, since he starts soon. But uh, I've heard a lot about his digital strategy, the, the, a lot of the creative efforts that he was behind at ABC, and mm -hmm. that's heartening. Um, that's exciting because, you know, we're in growth mode, and we need to continue to, to be that way. I mean, you, you can't uh, lose traction. So I'm excited to have him come aboard. Right. And a lot of international uh, experience he had at ABC News. Yes. And that was a big thing for you when you joined Bloomberg to, to know attraction. that you're, you're seen in 270 million homes around the world every day, right? First of all, A, because I've always been a foreign policy geek. So personally, that, uh, that uh, appeals to me. But more importantly, I think my world view is finance is the first globalized industry and the rest of the world is following it every industry is going down that course so you need to have that footprint and not just be able to be seen in those markets but be able to have reporting on the ground from those markets mm -hmm. so i mean one of the things that cracked me up when i first came to bloomberg was looking at where all the bureaus are they have people in cities you've never heard of <laughs> in countries that you know would seem fairly obscure sometimes to people in middle America, but then you look at where money flows are coming from, where the growth is coming from, and any CEO of any corporation will tell you how excited they are about the emerging markets. Sure. And that's not just China. Um, you know, the growth and the innovation is coming from outside the U.S., and if you were doing business here, if you were investing here, you need to know what's happening. So that was a huge attraction for me, mm -hmm. and it continues to be. So hopefully we'll leverage that more. Right. Um, Bloomberg is really known, though, as a financial services company. The yeah. terminals are really uh, the bread and butter of the business. And um, Bloomberg TV has been around, though, since 1994, but uh, has never really been competitive with uh, CNBC and with Fox Business Network starting in 2007. There are now three channels out there. What's Bloomberg TV mm -hmm. doing? What are you guys doing differently than those guys? Well, I think... And, you know, having literally grown up at CNBC, I know that market and I know those people well and I respect them. The thing that attracted me to, to Bloomberg is that the, the core, you say financial services, and certainly that terminal is um, a, a tremendous asset to the company. But at its essence, it's really about information period. And I think that is the prime asset. And, you know, TV is yet another screen to add to that. And I think TV is part of that dissemination of information, period. So that's that's the asset that Bloomberg has. Like I said, that global footprint, we have people everywhere. We didn't parachute people in to the Middle East to cover a lot of these stories. We had stringers on the ground in mm -hmm. Libya. We had people, we have a whole bureau in Cairo that was covering day in, day out what and was happening there. in Egypt. You were in I got Square. to parachute in yeah. and I, I was so excited to do that. We are now confirming President Hosni Mubarak is stepping down. He is stepping down and leaving the presidency. Putting your Arabic minor to good use. Yes, finally. Yeah. Explain to my mom and dad why they paid the money for the <laughs> Arabic degree. And, yeah. um, but no, I, I had spent time studying in Jordan and uh, had minored in Arabic. So to be able to bring, you know, my financial background into there. Uh, into the region and to cover it was amazing for me because I think fundamentally that story was also about economic opportunity, lack of it, lack of participation in the global boom. Yeah. Um, the true measurement of, of television, as you know, are ratings and um, Bloomberg television is still not publicly rated. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you hear from the bosses about whether, uh, how much of is that a priority and should we expect to see it happen at any point soon? Well, I know eyeballs are a priority, period. Um, but, I mean, to be quite honest, our conversations are about making what we do every day better. It's about making the production better, making the coverage better on TV. I really don't hear a lot about 
the ratings per se. I know that happens a lot of other places, but um, Andy Lack has had very much a focus on keeping that information for for the, the C-suite, and they're worried about that. Mm -hmm. You worry about the creative and the editorial and the production and just doing your job better. So I don't get a lot of push. So there's not a lot of create heat. Mm -hmm. The heat, the debates, the controversy that comes up, it's because the stories we're telling, we're not manufacturing it to bring in eyeballs. All right, full steam ahead. Mm -hmm. We're talking with Margaret Brennan, uh, anchor of In Business with Margaret Brennan on Bloomberg TV. Uh, we'll be back in our next segment. We're going to talk more about how she got from CNBC to Bloomberg TV. Yeah.